Well, some folks are trading in breakfast in bed for a triathlon on this Mother's Day morning, and that's where we find 27 First News reporter Cameron O'Brien. She's checking out the Spring Classic Sprint Triathlon at the Davis YMCA in Boardman. Good morning, yeah, Cam. Yeah, it seems like the weather, Brittany, has thrown a little bit of a monkey wrench into the plans here, but people still in really great spirits because the show must go on. Mary Beth Romero joins me here. She's helping run this entire thing, so tell me a little bit about the delay and then tell me what um, the race is all about. All right, we're currently delaying the race for an hour because of the weather and thunder and lightning, so we want to make sure everything's safe for the swim. Um, depending on how the weather's going to go, then we might change it into a duathlon mm -hmm. instead and eliminate the swim part. So we're going to play that by ear. Awesome. And 14 years of this race, right? 14 years this race has been going on. And this is the first triathlon in the area. It is. Um, it's a great, it's a great transition into triathlon for a lot of new people going into triathlon here. Okay, yeah, because I was going to say, you know, it, it, I saw it was like beginner friendly. So, right. what makes this race, you know, how do you guys structure it so that it is friendly to somebody who's a beginner and not so daunting? This, well, it's a pool swim, so that's a the swim is usually the most anxiety for people. So it's a pool swim that's a little bit easier. Um, this class backs up to our tri skills class. It's offered at the Y, so they go through, they spend. Um, I think it's 16 weeks getting ready for this triathlon, going through swimming skills, biking skills, running skills, and then putting it all together into this triathlon. Amazing. Um, yeah, and I mean, a lot of people, you know, the weather, you know, not so great, but if we take a look around, a lot of people here, people, you know, eager to start, people excited about what's going on. Tell me about the kind of folks that come out here, you know. Um, the people that come out for a triathlon are amazing. They are um, just a great group of people, very enthusiastic, very supportive, love the sport, love to swim, bike, and run, and so it's a great community. It's and tell me a little bit about the sponsors, too. you got a, quite a few of them, correct? We have quite a few yeah. sponsors for this. Um, we have the Mercy Health sponsors us. Uh, the YMCA is a big sponsor for this race. Um, they are not, they, they put it on in conjunction with the Steel Valley Triathlon Club, and that's who originally started the race as a triathlon club in here in Mahoney County. Awesome. Well, people definitely chomping at the bit to get out there. I saw, you know, there was lightning and people were still driving their bikes out there, still smiling, excited to get started, and yes. it must be amazing to have that kind of energy. You oh, know. it is. The triathletes, they love the sport. It's, awesome. it's a great sport. Cool, very cool. Well, we're going to stay inside. We're going to keep it safe and stay inside until we get the all clear to head out. And we're going to have you meet some people who are here and let you know how they feel about running a triathlon live in Boardman. Cameron O'Brien, WKBN 27 First News, Sunday morning.